Joined now by head coach Gary Gate. Open it up for questions. Gary, what do you feel is a tangible difference with this team versus last year? Not just on the field, just everything. Just in general, I think uh, the buy into the way that or what we're asking these kids to do and how we want them to be. They've created a culture that is, a, I think, a culture for success. And um, we really haven't had any issues or any pushback on any of the things we want to do. They're in it to win it. And, uh, you know, we're just hoping we can get over the hump and, and get the job done this year. A little more on the field now. What, what's uh, some improvements you've seen on the defense from day one to so far? Well, I, I think, you know, they're just making less mistakes. That's the, the first thing. Coach Petromala has his systems, and he's, he's uh, simplified them and tried to make it a little easier. And um, the amount of work they put in has been tremendous, and, and they're reducing their mistakes. Last year, you can watch film, and you see multiple slides, or we missed the second slide, or, you know, all sorts of situations where we made mistakes. And, we're just reduce, reducing them dramatically. And, and again, the help of Will Mark and the cage always helps. And we're trying getting him to get him shots that uh, we know he can make the saves. Dave was talking a little bit about the cut 12 yard barrier. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yard. So, okay. What's the Carl Simmons trophy mean to you? <laughs> well, I think it's an opportunity to to play for something that's part of the history of the program and uh, honor the Simmons family. Uh, certainly I had uh, the pleasure of playing for Roy Simmons Jr. Uh, and I believe the trophy was named after his father um, in a way to honor his father and uh, to have that ability to carry on the legacy for the Simmons family. We're thrilled to play in this game and hopefully keep the cup here in Syracuse. Who has been someone on this team this year that has exceeded your expectations week in and week out? Let me think about that one. I, I, I think it's, I don't know if there's anyone specifically. I, I think Sam Alexa has answered the bell every, day, every week. And I think he's doing a tremendous job going from LSM to playing uh, down low, and I think he's done a tremendous job on the what we've asked him to do and the guys we've asked him to cover. So, so far, it's been a, a pleasant result of you know moving him around and challenging him. He's accepted the challenge every time, so he's certainly somebody that's uh, exceeding what we thought we'd get out of him. Sorry, on the topic of leadership, Cole Kirst, having him transfer from Lehigh, what has he meant to this team? Uh, he's a tremendous leader. He uh, he's about doing the right thing, uh, practicing the right way, and he's not afraid to hold people accountable. So I think it's it's been a nice add to this team and in trying to get the things that we're trying to get done. He's on board and he helps the other guys get on board. So we're happy to have him. You talked about in your post game press conference not playing to your team's you know level and, and rising to that occasion. You got an opportunity in Hobart, obviously not a top 25 team, but a rivalry game. What message do you give to these guys as you uh, get ready to take on Hobart? Well, I think it's the same message uh, when we played St. Bonaventure the other day. You know, at halftime, I, I wasn't real happy because I thought we were playing down a little bit. And I challenged them at halftime, and they came out in the third quarter and, and I think dominated and played the, the level they should have played in quarter one. So. For me, it's about play to your potential, play to get better every every day you play, and you're doing it for each other. You're not beating a team, you're not trying to crush a team or anything like that. You're just trying to prove that you were better than you were yesterday, so that's that's kind of the focus. With the schedule being so like top-heavy to start the season, how, would, how do you feel your team has reacted to, to the sort of the tough mat, tough losses that you had, and now with the two game win streak, how do you how do you think you, how, how do you feel your team has reacted? Well, you know, we we set the schedule up uh, to make sure we weren't playing, you know, top ten, top twenty teams eight weeks in a row. So this is our little break before we make a second half run, and uh, you know, I think we've gotten out of it what we wanted so far, and that's 
an opportunity to have some success and um, develop some confidence. So I'm hoping they get some confidence out of this. And then we hit that second half of the tough schedule, the, all the top fives, the top ten teams we have to play coming down the, the end of the season. Hopefully we can get a couple uh, upsets and do what we need to do to, to be talked about for tournament time. And of course, being home for three games in a row, how has that been for you guys and has that been a uh, welcome change? Well, home and away, we, we play a lot of home games. So, uh, you know, we're very lucky that way when you have a dome uh, that's covered warm and it's snowing everywhere else. People want to come and play in it. So we typically play uh, more home games, but we, we don't mind traveling away. Um, it's a good way to, to bond and stay together as a team. So, you know, it's nice to be home as well. We love the dome. Favorite place to play. What can you tell us about Hobart? Well, Hobart's, you know, it's just one of those mid-major teams that uh, they're playing for the, the, the Krause Simmons Cup and we're going to get their best game. That's that's all I know because this means something to them as well. And uh, they're kind of that mid-major gritty. If they play well, they can beat anybody and, you know, if they're not quite on, you know, they, they struggle a bit. So they're they're a good, solid opponent. And, Certainly, if we take them lightly, we'll, we'll be in a tough situation, so we need to buckle down and play our best. Coach Landon went down a few games ago against Hopkins. How would you assess Billy's performance stepping up for him? Well, I, I thought like uh, it was, it's was it been great. You know, Billy, we've talked about him playing more before that happened, and, and this was just, you know, a trigger for him to get in there full time and, and become a starter, and, and I think he's done a nice job. So, again, we got some tough teams coming up and hopefully we get Clary back but uh, if not Bill will be ready and he'll have some more experience and he'll be uh, hopefully help us get over the top on a few of those. Gary, have you noticed uh, any emphasis on opposing teams and how they defend Joey? They tend to just put a big strong guy because they know he likes to bull his way in kind of a bulldog from behind and create some space so they do a pretty good job of uh, making sure they got someone physical and uh, you know we're trying to help Joey out get him to move his feet and create some space and get his hands free and uh, you know he, he, it's a work in progress for everybody he's going to continue to work at it and get better and, but he's always going to have a big strong physical guy on him. Mentioned Clary but just health wise with the rest of the team how is everyone at this kind of midpoint of the season? Uh, the healthiest we've ever been, knock on wood. Uh, you know, we've been working real hard with our, our, you know, GPS and load tracking and all of that stuff. We've been able to kind of structure practice to keep everybody healthy and we've really limited our soft tissue injuries and we're pretty happy with the, with the way that's going and, and we're going to continue. Coach, as, a, as the former head coach for women's lacrosse, what's it been like watching their incredible run, 10-0 start, number one in the nation from your point of view? Oh, it's awesome. You know, certainly I recruited all the kids that are there. and It's uh, it's fun to watch them have success. And that's, you know, why they came, I think, was to, to play for national championships and to get that opportunity. And Kayla's doing an amazing job uh, coaching them up. Thanks. Great. Thank, Thank you, Coach. I appreciate it.